Once dismantlement of San Onofre nuclear plant begins, safety and environmental stewardship will guide the process every step of the way. Southern California Edison selected the team of AECOM and Energy Solutions for this project, one of the largest commercial nuclear plant decommissioning projects in the world. This animation illustrates a conceptual technical approach which will be refined during the detailed planning process. The initial demolition will focus on clearing areas of the property to facilitate staging and seamless loading and removal of debris. This demolition on the north side will also clear space for a rail spur to allow for transportation of debris, such as concrete and rebar. Next, the team will create a path down to the intake area by removing the turbine buildings, creating access to the west side of the property. After this work is complete, the buildings between the containment domes will be demolished. Temporary structures will be used during demolition to control dust and other debris. Areas within the safety, fuel, and nearby buildings will be demolished internally. In the final stage, the containment buildings will be demolished using a bottom-up technique that has proven effective in prior nuclear plant decommissioning projects. Soil materials will be used to create a level surface, the final step in fully restoring the site for unrestricted use. San Onofre's used nuclear fuel, which is regulated as high-level radioactive waste, will remain on site in a robust steel and concrete storage facility until the federal government provides an off-site facility as required. The San Onofre decommissioning team is committed to environmental stewardship and remaining engaged with the community throughout the decommissioning project.